Yeah, but I also depend, no wood, only stainless steel. Yeah. We never, we always cut the wine description. I know, but for us, we like to do it, I think, because we like to watch ourselves later. Yeah, we look so dumb talking about wines. Mm. Welcome to our casa, and today we're making burrata mushroom lasagna. But before we get started, let me remind you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell to get notifications on future videos. And please give us a comment below and let us know how we're doing. Lasagna al forno, you'll find all over Italy with many different variations of different ingredients. You're probably more accustomed to a bolognese or like a red sauce lasagna, but whatever it's made with, Italian lasagnas always have one thing in common. They always have bechamel. Today we'll be making our lasagna with mixed mushrooms, any combination will do, and the creamy, luscious, one and only burrata cheese. We made fresh pasta for our lasagna today and you can make fresh pasta at home or buy fresh pasta from a specialty market or just use dry lasagna. Just make sure to boil and cook your lasagna to al dente before assembling. Since we're using fresh pasta today, we will not be pre-cooking it. Let's start cooking the mushrooms. In a very large saute pan, we're going to add lots of olive oil. Make sure your flame's at a medium high heat. We're gonna add one shallot that's nicely, finely diced. When you start to see the shallot sizzling and it's super fragrant, we're going to add our mushrooms. I'm using a combo of shiitake, and crimini. After a few minutes, we're gonna add one fourth cup of white wine. Gonna lower the heat just a little bit and let that all cook together till the mushrooms get nice and soft. If you start to see that it's getting too dry and it's starting to stick to the pan, we're gonna add um, a little bit of mushroom broth, but you can use any kind of vegetable broth that you have. As you can see, it's starting to stick, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that liquid. I'm gonna lower that flame to a medium low heat. All right, while our mushrooms soften up and cook down, we're going to make our bechamel. In a saucepan, we're gonna add four tablespoons of butter. Turn that flame to about a medium. Let that butter melt down and then we're gonna add some flour. Now we're gonna add four tablespoons of flour and whisk that all together till it's a nice, smooth paste. You wanna make sure it all gets mixed in together but you don't want it to start to brown. We're gonna add three cloves of garlic then slowly start to incorporate three cups of milk while whisking. Once all that milk is in, you're just gonna continuously whisk until it starts to thicken up. After about 10, 12 minutes, you're gonna really start to see it thicken up. So we're gonna do the little spoon test. You can see that it's sticking to the back of the spoon there. We're gonna take it off the heat, add a little salt, a little dash of nutmeg, and mix that around. Once our bechamel is completely finished, we're gonna add a little bit to our mushrooms. and some fresh chopped parsley. And 
and turn off the flame. Let's start prepping the burrata. With our burrata, we are going to break it open and that outer part of that mozzarella, we're gonna cut and layer into the lasagna. Burrata comes from Puglia and it's essentially like a little mozzarella balloon and when you cut into it, you see this creamy, beautiful stragitella just pouring out of it. But that inside stragitella super creamy goodness we are gonna set aside in another bowl and we're gonna pour that over the top to finish our lasagna. And stracciatella is essentially shredded fresh mozzarella mixed with cream. So everything that's good in life. It is the absolute best. Now that we're finishing up prepping our ingredients, I think we deserve a nice glass of wine. Burrata. I have a piece. The wine we're drinking today is called Fiano. Uh, it's produced in an area called Cilento, in the south side of the region of Campania in central southern Italy. It's a land of sweet and rugged hill, full of Mediterranean vegetation, facing the Tyrrhenian Sea. UNESCO World Heritage site, the Cilento is incredibly full of art, culture, incredible wines, and it's the center of the Mediterranean diet. It's exactly where it all comes from. A beautiful, incredible national park is present in the Cilento. All the information are in the description box. And please, when it's gonna be safe to travel again, give Cilento a big consideration because its beauty is absolutely breathtaking. The wine we're drinking today is produced by a winemaker called Luigi Maffini. And together with his wife, Raffaella, and their team, they take care of a beautiful 50,000 and vines estate located in the center of the Cilento area. They harvest the grape from September 1st to the 20th and the fermentation takes place rigorously in stainless steel tanks, giving the wine its freshness and crispiness. Um, we want again to thank uh, Martina and Massa Nois, the importer and distributor of this wine, and uh, we are very excited to try it, so let's open it. Open! Cheers! Wow! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now we have the wine, all the ingredients are ready. We're ready to assemble. Let's preheat our oven to 375. Let's start with a little bechamel. We're using a 9x5 pan. Now we take one of our lasagna layers, little bechamel, a layer of mushroom, the outside of the burrata, that mozzarella, and a little parmigiano reggiano, grated. And since the pasta didn't cook in any salted water, it's really not seasoned, so I'm just gonna add a little pinch of salt in each layer. Just a little bit. A little pepper. And you have your first layer. And the stragitella. Look at that. Some fresh parsley.
This is very exciting. It looks good. It looks good and Oh my god, this, was, this might, we've made some cheesy videos, let me just tell you, but this might be the cheesiest. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please remember to push that like button, push that bell to get notifications, and subscribe to our channel. That would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye. Bye bye. Ciao. I'm gonna come out with you. I know.